Hey guys, it's Maddie, and yes, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but here's another one out for you guys, and it's already October. Halloween is in a couple weeks, so I thought what's better than last minute DIY Halloween costumes. And I've done a few of these videos in years prior, and they've done pretty well, but I kind of wanted to put a little twist on it this year. So instead of doing 10 last minute DIY Halloween costumes, I'm going to be giving you 20 DIY couples costume ideas. And most of these ideas work best with boy and girl couples, but you could also change them up a little bit and make it fit better for two girls or two boys or two best friends or whatever the situation may be. But here are 20 DIY ideas and I'll try to go through them pretty quickly, but I will be doing a tutorial on one of these ideas so you guys can guess in the comments down below which idea I will be doing a full on tutorial on. My first idea is Boo and Sully from Monsters Inc. And this is really easy to recreate, you just need to get a big blue one and then hot glue some felt pink splotches on it for Sully. You could also, if you wanted to, switch out Boo for Mike and like wear a green shirt with a big eye on it. That's pretty easy to do as well. Next is Jasmine and Aladdin, and I just picked these two characters because I like them, but you could literally do any Disney couple, like Disney princess with the guy that goes with the princess. But thrift stores around this time of year have a lot of just like random costumes that you can easily just go and find. So it shouldn't be hard to find the Jasmine pants and like little top. And then for Aladdin, all you really need is a purple vest and a little red hat thing on your head, which you could literally just use a cup and just like headband it to your head. But the majority of these things I'm sure you could find easily at your thrift store and easily recreate it. And next is the inevitable Harley Quinn and Joker, and yeah, I know this is like a year old, but it's still a cute costume, and it's pretty easy because you don't need much. It, you can kind of focus a little more on the makeup aspect and less on the clothes, even though you can find the clothes really easily, and literally just DIY the lettering on a red and white t-shirt for um, Harley Quinn, and the Joker's clothes are easy to find too. Another one that's super easy is just a scarecrow and a farmer and for this you literally just need a flannel jacket and then like some cool makeup and stuff, wear some jeans and boots and you're good to go. Next you could be Curious George and the man in the yellow hat and I really like this one just because it's fun and like creative and for Curious George you can DIY like a headband ears for the monkey and like draw on a little monkey nose and stuff and then just wear like brown everything and leggings and then um, have a little tail and then for the man in the yellow hat you just need a yellow hat and wear like everything yellow and that's basically it. Another creative one is Shark Boy and Lava Girl and for this you'll just need, if you're Shark Boy, all black tight clothes basically and Lava Girl all pink tight clothes. If you have a pink unitard that works but I don't know how easy it will be to get one if it's super last minute. And then you can easily just use felt or foam for all the designs and then just hot glue it to your shirt and pants and it may take a little DIYing skills but I think it could come out pretty cool in the end. Another idea is Little Red Riding Hood and a wolf. And this one's easy because you don't really need too much. You just need like a red hood and like a little dress for Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf can wear pretty much whatever. But the main thing about this one is kind of cool is you can focus more on the makeup. So for Little Red Riding Hood, you know, red lips and you could even put some SFX makeup on like to do some claw marks. And then for the wolf, you know, you could actually do full out wolf makeup to make him look like a wolf and like spike up your hair and make it look all cool. So you don't actually need to go and buy a costume for this. So it definitely could be last minute, but it also could look really cool. Another idea is Sandy and Danny from Grease, and this one's just kind of a classic. At the very end of the movie, they're both wearing these like tight black outfits and then Sandy has her red heels and everything and it's like a super sassy fun costume and you might already have everything you need if you have like black clothes and leather. The next idea is Mario and Luigi and this is pretty simple you just need a green shirt and a red shirt and then if you have like some kind of overalls or even just like blue jeans and then you know some suspenders or make your own suspenders and then wear a hat that matches the color of your shirt pretty easy and it would look really cool. The next idea is Superman and Wonder Woman and these are kind of cool because Wonder Woman came out not not too long ago um, and I just think it's a cool pair. For Wonder Woman you could literally go to the thrift store and find a pair of blue bathing suit bottoms and then paint some little stars on them or stick some star stickers and that could be your like superhero bottoms. And then for the top you can just use some kind of red strapless shirt and for Superman you can literally just find a Superman shirt and wear that and that can be your Superman hook costume. Another a really cute one is Peter Pan and Wendy and this is pretty easy because for Peter Pan you just need a green shirt and some like black or dark pants and then like a little
little green hat. And for Wendy, you can literally just wear a white or blue dress and like put your hair up in a little ribbon and that's it. As an alternative, you could also do Peter Pan and his shadow and like have another person dressed in all black. Or you could do Peter Pan and Tinkerbell if you're into that as well. Another super easy last minute costume is a cheerleader and football player. And this is easy because if you're in high school or maybe out of high school, chances are that either you or one of your friends have been a cheerleader or maybe you or one of your friends have been a football player. So you'll probably have access to a cheerleader outfit or a football player outfit. You know, just ask around your friends if you don't have one, but um, chances are you can find one pretty easily. Next is a classic Halloween costume, which is a doctor and a nurse. And again, I would just go to your local thrift store and most likely you'll be able to find some kind of nurse costume because it's around Halloween time. But if you can't, you can also easily DIY it. And the doctor costume is pretty easy too. You might even have like, the stethoscope and like all those fancy doctor's tools that maybe you had from when you were a kid as like play tools or maybe they have them at the thrift store so there's lots of options for this one it's just a classic costume another one of my favorites is Alice and the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland and this one's really cool because you don't really need to go and buy things for Alice you literally just need to wear a blue dress and then for the Mad Hatter you can literally wear mismatch of like everything so if you have a vest or you find one at a thrift store that's like all interesting fabric and like patterned you can wear that and then wear like some kind of cool coat over it you can wear mismatched socks you can wear like every all of the patterns you can think of that don't go together and then like with the classic mad hat or hat um but you don't really need to buy much for this another super easy one is netflix and chill <laughs> And for this, you just need two different colored shirts and you can easily iron on what you need to write on it as Netflix and chill on each shirt and then wear like pajama pants or something. Easy peasy. <laughs> Next idea is Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and you don't really need much for this either. Just black top, red bottoms, and some polka dots that you can put on it. Pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to do. The next idea is Fred and Wilma from the Flintstones. And this one is a very good DIY costume because you can literally go out and buy like bed sheets or something and make your costume from bed sheets since neither of the costumes are really form-fitting and they'd be pretty easy to make. This is definitely a good option if you're really into DIYing stuff. Another really cute idea is Shaggy and Scooby from Scooby-Doo. And this is super easy because all you need is a green t-shirt and brown pants. And then for Scooby, you just need to wear everything that's brown and then DIY a little collar and some ears and that's and you're good to go. The next idea is a pinata and a pinata hitter. <laughs> so for this you can just take a dress that you already have and then use strips of tissue paper or that stuff that you like hang up on birthday parties, I forget what it's called, like the streamer kind of thing. Um, and then you just like literally can put it on your dress and like cut strips in it so it looks like a pinata. And then for the pinata hitter, you can wear like a poncho and a hat if you want to, or you could it could be like your birthday party and you can wear like a birthday party hat and then carry around the stick with you. Easy as that, and it's uh, quite creative. <laughs> And my last idea is Lilo and Stitch, which I think is so cute. And for Stitch, you could wear a just oversized t-shirt with Stitch on it if you want to. Or you could wear a giant blue onesie and kind of put all the designs on that if you want to. And for Lilo, all you need is a green skirt. You could even get a fake plant and cut off leaves and glue it to your skirt. And then a red like bandeau top or tank top or something like that. And some flowers and lays to make it look all Hawaiian. But I think that one will look really adorable too. So those are all my last minute DIY couple ideas for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell me which costume was your favorite in the comments down below. Also, you can subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another video. And by the way, I will be doing one of these pairs of costumes as a DIY in one of my next videos. So look forward to that and subscribe so you don't miss it. And I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.